Don't answer the phone Spending the days on my own Then repeats this For weeks to come I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching For my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs Now it's Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video. So today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some of my recent favourites that I've picked up from Ikea and a few things that I think are the worst. So a few things that I think are the best so some things that I think are the best things from Ikea and some that I think are the worst. I've made an Ikea favourites video before but it's quite some time ago so I thought it was time to take you through my house and show you all the things that I've been loving from Ikea recently. If you would like to see my best and worst from Ikea, just keep watching. Alright, so we're going to start up here in my bedroom closet where I have a Nordly chest of drawers. Now I originally bought my first Nordly chest of drawers for my kids bedroom back in our old apartment and I shared in an Ikea updates video how I put it together. It's a really excellent set of drawers. I love the fact that they are white, they're modular, you can mix and match all the different configurations for it to suit your space and your requirements. So for example I have got, I've got the bottom three larger size drawers and then I did an add-on with two skinny drawers so that I can use it for things like all of my accessories. It's also great for like having your bras all laid out, really nice, neat and accessible. And then the bottom ones are great because they store a ton of stuff uh, and you can put them all with these scub organizers which are also from Ikea. So you can kind of section off like different underwear, socks, I've got crop tops, sports bras and leggings. Down here is another one of my IKEA favorites and, and I do this to organize all of my workout gear by outfits. So I have no excuse to not put on workout gear because I don't have like a matching set or I don't have, you know, tops and bottoms. I put the sports bra, the top and the leggings and usually I will also put in the underwear that's required. So obviously for like lighter colored tights, you need lighter colored underwear so you always have the entire outfit ready to go. So normally I will start my day every day in workout gear. It just kind of encourages me to go for a walk or do a little workout at home. I set for Monday and just put it like on the end of my bed or on my dressing table and then have this for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Monday through Friday I've always got something to wear that is super quick and easy for school drop-offs. It makes getting ready in the morning a breeze, like it's so quick and easy and I never have an excuse to not have anything to wear. So I definitely recommend this scalp organizer. And then these are just also other scalp organizers that also fit extra leggings, extra leggings and shorts. And then down here in this bottom one, I've just got pajama sets, loungewear and pajama socks. So it is really good to have it kind of separated and divided. So it's easy to store everything where it needs to be stored, but it's also really quick to put away your clothes. You have quite a bit of other IKEA stuff in my bedroom. I have the Hemnes bedside tables, these kn Knubig or something lamps. I'll have everything listed and linked down in the bottom. Uh, these frames are also from IKEA. These side mirrors are great from Ikea, they're unfortunately discontinued which I'm going to get to at the end of this video when I tell you the worst things about Ikea. In my opinion the worst things about Ikea. So these are great mirrors, they just stick with command strips to the side of the wall. And then also in my bedroom I have the Ikea Malm vanity dressing table which I've had for years and years and years. So as I mentioned before I do have another video that I share absolutely everything that I had in my house that was Ikea. So I'm just going to point out in this video the things that are new or the things that I've picked up since I filmed that video. I'll leave it linked here and in the description bar below so if you want to go and see some more Ikea inspiration go and check out that video. For so now we're here in my boys room and you can see that we have a Nordly chest of drawers that we have kind of done a little hack into making a desk. So it's the side bedside table size with the long top of the plinth and we just didn't use the base plinth. It has two of these small chests with the top on the top and it makes a great computer desk that is perfect for homework or gaming. It looks quite basic but it's nice clean and minimal and I think that it goes well with any kind of decor. In each of their closets they also have a three drawer chest of drawers and they have some scub organizers with their belongings in it. 
Again, super sturdy. And I really love the quality of these Nordly chests of drawers. And the Nordly chest of drawers slash desk hack. Oh. And that is just the other chest of drawers in the other side. One of the next favourite products from Ikea are these Variera tubs and I use these all throughout the house, in the bathrooms, the kitchen, the garage, absolutely everywhere. They're really sturdy, they are so versatile and they are really convenient if you've just got some bathroom cabinets that you want to maybe make a little bit more organised. But you can just pull out everything that you need in one go. And these are perfect for keeping things organized, neat, under control, but also convenient because you can take out whatever you need and take it out and use it. You don't have to rummage through a whole bunch of stuff to find what you're looking for. You can section off all the different kinds of categories of bathroom products. And this just makes it so, so easy to keep your bathroom neat, clean, organized and under control. So the Variera tubs are a big hit from me and definitely on my list of favorites from Ikea. Before I share with you the ensuite bathroom with all the very area tubs and containers that I've used for bathroom organization, I've done the same thing in the main bathroom, so I'll just show you that now. Don't answer the phone, spending the days on my own, then repeat this for weeks to come. I don't care what I miss, cause my life is just This again just allows for really easy organization because it maximizes the available space. This is a really narrow cupboard, but it's quite deep. So to maximize the space, I've utilized two IKEA products in here, the Variera tubs and also the Variera shelf risers. So Variera tubs here, I've used to organize individual categories of things. So body lotion, hair, extra products, etc. And then on the space behind that, I've just used a Variera shelf riser with additional Variera tubs on top just to make the most of that depth of the cabinet that would otherwise be unable to be utilized. They hold an absolute ton. They are really sturdy. One thing though is you cannot put them through the dishwasher. I've put them through the dishwasher once before and they get all warped. So you definitely just have to hand wash them, but they are really sturdy durable plastic. So they wash up and wipe really easily. Coming up next in my best of Ikea are another organizing container, similar to the Variera containers. They are the Puglas, I think. Pretty, shh, no barking. And they are storage containers like this. They are like the Variera, but they are a little bit deeper and bigger. And again, they come in a couple of different sizes. These are intended for home recycling, I believe. So they're in the home organization section. And I use these sitting on a shoe rack just to store extra. We don't have a linen closet here besides the storage in the bathroom that I just showed you. So what I do is I just use these tubs and I sit them on shoe racks and it just adds additional storage at the bottom of my cupboard. And then again, I've used them up on the top shelf. So I'll just give you a quick look. So up there, I've got spare quilt covers, spare sheet sets. Uh, this one's bikini and beach wear. This one's kids sheet sets. Then down here, I have just got some towels and bath mats, some travel bags, some t-shirts and shorts that are going to go and switch out soon. And then I just have a tub with all of my hair styling products so I can just grab this box and it's got everything I need to do my hair so I can do it wherever I like. So I can do it in the bathroom, I can do it in my bedroom, I can take it downstairs if I feel like doing it downstairs. And it's all contained in this one storage tub. And then it just tucks away neatly on that Kmart shoe rack and it actually fits like it was made for it because the grooves of the bin fit exactly in the Kmart shoe rack in the ribs in the it fits exactly in the Kmart shoe rack in the slats so it was like they were made for each other isn't that right Freddie they were made for each other they were made for each other weren't they all right what else do we like from Ikea let's keep going so this is my makeup vanity. It is part of the Malm range and I have had this makeup vanity for many, many years and it has honestly held up pretty well. I did go to Ikea and I got some replacement drawer runners because these ones kind of wore out a little bit. But to be fair, I've had it for, I'm going to say like 
five years or so, five, maybe even six years. Um, and it has held up really, really well. It does hold an absolute ton. Oh, that's not in the right spot. Um, it holds an absolute ton and I've shared it here with organization ideas for this vanity so many times. So I do like this Malm, although from the Malm range, I have previously had the Malm chest of drawers and I really did not find that that held up or was great quality at all. I found that the draw runners were really not smooth and it was really, um, it really wasn't sturdy and as good quality as some of the other pieces like the Hemnes range. So this is actually like stained wood. Um, and oh, Freddie, hop out of the way. And I really think that this is a good quality piece. I also had a dresser in this range at my old apartment. And then when we moved here, I didn't have the space for it. So again, I just sold it on Marketplace. It sold really quickly. It sold for a great price. And then these little handles are also from Ikea. So I just replaced the stock standard black ones for these. Um, and I think it just makes it look a little bit more, a little bit nicer. So yeah, that is some things from Ikea in my bedroom. Okay, so next up on my list of things that I absolutely love from Ikea is this wooden chopping board. It is the extra, extra large, I think it's called Lampling chopping board. And I have it here. This is actually a laundry sink. So this is intended to be like a little laundry nook that I have repurposed as a kind of little butler's pantry nook sort of thing. And to cover up the laundry sink and give a bit of extra storage when the sink's not needing to be used. So it is normally a sink as you can see and to maximize the available bench space that I'm going to use a lot more than I'm going to need to have a second sink. I just popped this directly on top of it. It's really really sturdy. It's not going to go anywhere and then I just pop as you saw my water filter and soda stream all the tumblers that the kids use and any kind of cordials or anything so it's a little bit of a cold beverage station right here. I love it. It has just made that extra bit of space. The other thing that I used to use this for was to make extra space by putting it over my gas cooktop to provide a little bit of additional extra workspace. So it just pops on top of the gas cook top and then you've got additional storage space for anything that you might need and I'm actually going to pop back to right here and get a second one of these so that I've got one for over there on the sink and then one also here to maximize storage space or workspace because this is a really tiny kitchen so this is definitely another IKEA item that I absolutely love sticking in the kitchen this is one of my love-hate items from IKEA absolutely love it I use it I'm going to say almost every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. It's the Trovadig, Trovadig frying pan. And I love the fact that it is just kind of smaller size. It's great. It's perfect for one person. I use this for so many things, but the thing I use it the most for is to make oats in because I love having oats, but I hate the cleanup. But having it in a little non-stick saucepan like this, it makes it so easy to cook. And I've mentioned it on a previous favorites video. And the reason that it's a love-hate is because I love it. It is an absolutely perfect frying pan for one person or for, you know, smaller size serves. But they have discontinued it in Australia, so it's no longer available. I have seen that it's available on the UK IKEA site. So if you are overseas, definitely check it out. Again, it's the Truvardig. And really great. Just use this so, so much. So definitely that is worth a pickup from IKEA. All right, now just to have a quick chat about a couple of things that I don't like from Ikea or that just didn't work out for me. One of them is this chopping board. I've had a number of these from Ikea and when I initially got them, I had put them through the dishwasher sometimes, probably not the best thing for wooden chopping boards. Um, I bought another one when that split and I had to throw it away and just hand washed it. But again, it is just starting to show some signs of wear and tear. So definitely not one of the things that I would recommend picking up from Ikea just because of the fact that they split and don't really last long. So definitely that one's a no from me. This metal colander is again another no from me because it's just because of the rust factor. So I don't use this anymore as an actual colander. I just use it to store bread or fruit or onions and garlic. Um, sometimes I use it for kitchen decor and just leave it there with some fruit and things. So. It's purely for decor and decoration. Uh, love it, it is great, but I definitely wouldn't recommend getting it because anytime you wash it or it gets wet, 
it just gets so much rust on the folds of the metal like that so that is a definite no from me uh, and that's definitely one of my worst ikea purchases and if we take a look down in my kitchen cabinets again you can see so many ikea products so that is a variera tub that i use just to store all of my nutribullet things in um there is a variera shelf riser there another variera shelf riser just there so definitely a huge fan of those shelf risers in my upper cabinets just to double the shelf space We've just utilized the space with, again, using those Variera shelf risers. Such a super simple product, but it just makes such a huge impact on the storage space by effectively doubling your shelf space. All right, guys, so now we're down in my downstairs area with my living room, dining room, and little home office nook. This is what used to be my media cabinet. I put up a video a little while ago when we did a transformation just switching around some furniture to make way for just to make room for a puppy crate that we had to have when our little puppy was a very very new puppy so we switched this media cabinet over to this side and this is the unit that i mentioned is discontinued for these small shelves so we've got the bigger piece in the in the middle the centerpiece which is still available from ikea and it's absolutely amazing i think it looks much more expensive than i think it's 200 dollars for that middle shelf size and then $100 for one of those drawer units that you can add on, that you can add on as an extra. Honestly, I get so many compliments about this Fijal King unit. Uh, and every time I have to say, I don't know why, but IKEA discontinued this smaller side section. It is literally so sturdy. Again, I've had this unit for about probably six years now, and it has moved multiple times. It's really easy to pull apart and put back together. I often do it by myself. Sometimes my kids will help me. It's really easy to move around the house. You can break it apart and use it in individual sections. If you wanna hold it together, it just has some clips at the back that hold it in place. But it's really versatile. The shelves can be moved around. You can use it with or without the drawers. And I just think it looks super, super neat, clean, and really much more expensive than the couple of hundred dollars that it is to buy piece by piece. And over there, we just have my little home office nook set up, which is again IKEA. It's an IKEA Alex desk and a little Calex unit that's just tucked behind. And I can access all those shelves through the bottom of that unit. Having a just white wood metal, again, it just mixes and matches. So that's three different types of IKEA furniture, but they all work so well and seamlessly together. So you can mix and match throughout the different IKEA ranges without it looking like it's two like bits and pieces of everything, which I love. Don't answer the phone, spending the days on my own Then repeat this for weeks to come I don't care what I miss, cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs now The next thing I thought was a great thing to share with you is this as soda ham sectional modular sofa so you can buy all different bits and pieces and create any kind of sofa combination that you like that works for your space are you coming up come on up are you coming up or staying down now this sofa even though it is white it is incredibly hard wearing i've washed the covers a ton of times i have a bissell spot cleaner that i've used and i've got two boys teenage and preteen boys we have a new little rascally puppy. Uh, so obviously they're going to put any sofa through its paces and this one has stood up so, so well. I just love the fact that you can configure it in so many configurations. <laughs> I love the fact that you can change it around to have so many different configurations of the sofa and that it is completely modular. You can add on extra armrests. Uh, you can add additional pieces. So we bought the extra sofa just to have enough room to sort of spread out. We can have it separately so it is more like a conversational type sofa. Or, or you can also configure it into like a U shape or two L shapes. Um, there's just like endless ways that you can configure the sofa so that you can make the absolute most of it. Um, and it can be like in one big sectional or you can break it up into separate pieces like the chaise long and the armchair types set up. 
So I just love the flexibility of it and again that it is just so hard wearing and easy to clean. So we definitely love this sofa. The one thing is though, it is just the perfect height for Freddie to be able to steal things and then go sneak under the sofa. So it's really hard for us to grab him easily. Um, and he is a bit of a notorious thief and he does like to hide out under the sofa. Don't you little one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Boop. <laughs> but do you love the Ikea sofa? Yes. Gets the paw of approval from Fred Bear. Right you, you can sit there. Freddie loves this so far. Don't answer the phone. So even just some little pieces of decor. So these are from IKEA. Just cute little bits. And they often have um, decor that comes out in similar colour schemes. So I like this kind of dull gold colour. These ones are from IKEA. I think they're both discontinued though, so that's <laughs> one of the things that I don't like. This one's another item from Ikea that's discontinued, so it is just a little woven placemat. And this round bamboo tray, also from Ikea, also discontinued, so that is something that is really irritating. This basket that I use for blankets and throw cushions is also a new purchase from Ikea and absolutely love it. It's huge, it's big enough to hold, you know, good decent size uh, throws and throw pillows. So definitely recommend that one. And a lot of these decor items, again, are also from Ikea. So we've got these artificial plants. I had to replace the real ones that I had, which are toxic to dogs when I got Freddy. Um, so these plants and also these little uh, same gold colored pots are from Ikea. These lanterns are from Ikea. These are normally outside. It's just that it's been raining forever uh, where we live. So I've just popped them inside. These candles are from Ikea and I love them. They're so inexpensive. The lid is actually from a Kmart canister. This little timer is from Ikea and it's just a cute thing to have in the background of photos or background of videos. This little white house is actually a candle holder and it came from Ikea. It was part of their Christmas collection this last year. These vases again from Ikea. These are also discontinued I think. Um, but really cute and I get a lot of questions about that so I don't know why Ikea if you're watching bring back all these things that people love uh, These two candlesticks are also from Ikea These white storage containers are actually actually another favorite from Ikea. They are the Puglis storage containers and I just use them to hide away all the office supplies that you need like office essentials but you don't really want them out on display and again they come in a couple of different sizes so you have some bigger sizes and then you've also got this smaller size it's just oh hello freddy it's just super handy to have as a night nice neat way to store all your ugly office essentials We've utilized this IKEA plant stand as a little makeshift keyboard stand. Looks super cute and it encourages everyone to practice the piano because it's always set up. Just a couple more IKEA little bits and pieces that are favorites. Um, this little lamp here, it's got an LED bulb so it stays cool and it does look cool. Just some little home decor baskets, bits and pieces. The other thing that they discontinued that was so annoying so there is this little usb charger which is so cool so cute so convenient and they discontinued it so now you can only get like the really big version of it which is fine if you've got heaps of space but if you've only got a little tiny working from home setup you need something small that is absolutely perfect and then they've discontinued it so don't know why but anyway all right, so now let's talk about some of the things that I really don't like about IKEA. Besides the two things that I shared with you, the chopping board and the colander strainer, which um, kind of wear out really quickly. The other thing that I don't like about IKEA is they continually discontinue some really great items. Like for example, they've discontinued the black scub storage organizers. They have discontinued a whole heap of the home decor that I've got throughout my house. They've discontinued the white shelves on the side of the unit that I've put together for a media cabinet or from the 
for Gel King range. They discontinued the frying pan that I bought recently, which is awesome. They discontinued the individual phone charger that I bought recently. Um, so it just makes it hard when you buy things and really want to share them and you recommend them and, and then just to find that they've been discontinued. So it's a little bit irritating, but I'm not sure why they keep doing it. Um, it would be really interesting to find out and know. My ex-husband actually worked at Ikea for a while when we were married. And interestingly enough, uh, when, you work for my, when you work for Ikea, you get an employee discount. When he worked for Ikea, we never purchased one single thing and now it's honestly probably three quarters of my house is furnished with IKEA both furniture decorations decor home goods kitchen items I have absolutely so so much stuff from IKEA and 99.999% of the stuff I absolutely love there's just a couple of things that just didn't work out for me for one reason or the other but Generally, all of their stuff is really above and beyond. It's really great quality. I love the fact that it kind of mixes and matches, so it kind of fits in any style of decor. The other thing that I love is that it's so affordable, it's really easily accessible. And I love the fact that you can get it almost wherever you are around the world. I've always found that IKEA also holds its resale value really quite well. So over the years, I have sold lots of IKEA pieces secondhand on Marketplace or on Gumtree, and they always sell exceptionally quickly, and they always sell for a really pretty decent price. Obviously, you're not gonna make your money back, but I've always found that I can sell them for, you know, 50, 60, 70% of that original purchase price. guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing some of my best and worst products from ikea the things i love and the very very few things that i don't if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it is great feedback for me it lets me know that you enjoy this type of content and that will make me keep making it if you haven't already be sure to subscribe before you go hang out and watch another couple of videos have a fabulous week and as always i'll see you in the next video bye everyone Googlers, i think Freddy, shh, no barking. Freddy, shh, no barking, buddy. No barking, please. Uh, in my bedroom. So lots of IKEA items in the bedroom. Freddy. Are you coming up? Come on, up. Are you coming up or staying down? He gets a bit confused when I'm talking to the camera because he's like, who are you talking to, mum? There's no one here except me. Um, so definitely not one of the things that I- Guys!